Hello and welcome friends, I'm Mr. Elnap here with another episode and as you can see another building is standing on the board and today I will just give you a small tour around it. So let's start. Bottom levels, as you can see there is some extra opening in the wall. It's always good to keep uh, extra entry points uh, to the buildings so miniatures can move in and out not only from uh, one side. I hope miniatures can squeeze through that hole. We will see. And here is the first floor. I was going more for a wooden look. Also the walls, uh, no plaster there. And uh, now we will move a little higher. As you can see there is some balcony on the left leading out of the main structure. Also inside, in front, uh, there is another opening. It can be connected to the tavern uh, building standing behind. And now we're going to the upper floor. As you can see, there is a hall. I thought it would be a good idea to have an opening so we can put some ladder there. You can see also in the background there are uh, small doors leading to the tower. And here uh, I think it's a good idea just to address uh, the small thing. There's some small balcony in the doors. And some of those points are not strictly accessible. There's no uh, straight path. There are some closed doors here and there. And of course it will be nice maybe to make it uh, open and uh, really accessible. But uh, in some of those buildings I'm just assuming that there will be an option to go behind the doors. Maybe spend uh, a turn or something like that. And be able to come up through the other closed doors. It will be cool to hear your opinions about an uh, idea like that and what you think about it. Okay, let's go back to the building. So now uh, we can look on the other side and slowly go down. As you can see some 3D printed uh, windows there, this extra balcony, and then we're descending uh, to the ground level. There is this uh, small hole I was mentioning before, leading to the main street from the other side. And on the left side you can see closed doors. It's always a nice element to add something like that. It's just to uh, make the overall look of the building uh, much more natural. And the uh, destroyed part of the building uh, from the other side. And the hole I was mentioning before. It would be possible to add some uh, small catwalk there leading to the tavern. We're going up. As you can see those shingles one more time. In the whole top area and uh, yeah as you can know now from my other videos everything is built in parts for storage and transportation and also it gives a nice option to turn the pieces around like in this one top one That's also a separate piece and it also can be placed in different orientations as you can see. Uh, small things but it's always uh, making a building more playable or replayable. You can uh, use it in different setups. Also the main structure is removable here. Of course, as I mentioned, storage-wise, but also uh, to hide the seam line between tiles. It's one of those things, this whole board, uh, I was considering heavily from the beginning. Because it's a stationary uh, position, the tiles are not uh, movable. I mean, uh, you can't use them, turn them around and use them in different setup. So I was really trying to go for uh, as uh, smooth a connection between the tiles as possible. And uh, one way to do that is just to put the buildings or some structures on top. So uh, most of those lines are not visible in general. So that's basically it guys. Thank you for watching. Signing out.